Um, obviously, it's always a pleasure to be here working alongside colleagues, and we're thankful to have uh, two representatives with us today as well, and obviously all of the stakeholders that are listed today or listed today and joining us today. But it is a pleasure to actually talk about efficiency, effectiveness in government, but to be able to work with somebody who's so motivated and dedicated to improving the efficiencies in the way we do business in the state of Ohio is certainly a pleasure. So I'm glad to speak to House Bill 321, or actually 322, I apologize, um, as it relates to the Honor of State. Um, we've been thrilled to be working with them all along the way, and they had actually suggested early on when we met with them and started discussing our open data format ideas um, they had mentioned that in the past, it was not non-typical for the Auditor of State years back to actually have a uniform chart of accounts. Um, and so we thought it would be necessary moving forward that we work with the Auditor of State and we improve the way that we report um, by suggesting that they develop rules and actually um, adopt rules regarding a uniform accounting system for public offices. Um, this is not non-typical. This already exists in states like Georgia. However, we do want to be a leader and we want to provide that efficiency and effectiveness to those who are trying to crunch the numbers and understand better what's going on with our local governments. Um, our schools already do this. We have the CUP report. We have those who have talked to us about the CUP report for two years here and they'll be able to expand on the profound concept. Um, obviously, ours is not a centralized um, collaborative re repository, but we are suggesting that having the information in a unified way that's easily readable, that is unified in the way we define things, we can do more apples to apples comparisons. So we think that regarding the uniform accounting system for public offices, this is going to provide an immense amount of efficiency and effectiveness for government. So I will be relatively quick. Um, the next piece of legislation is actually very exciting as well, and that is data.ohio.gov. Um, the more that we can do to provide information to the public, the better we are going to be as elected officials. I believe this is how we hold our feet to the fire. If people are able to gain information easily in an easily readable format, and they also know where to go. You know, Representative Des Duffy talks about all the time the fact that we go to the library when we're looking for information. We go to the catalog to find where the book is on the shelf. We live in the 21st century now, and I think that to not have a repository for information at the state level is almost asinine. So data.ohio.gov will do exactly that. It will create a central location for Ohioans to come together and look for information that was viable to them. Um, it is not suggesting that we have to join in with the federal government, but the federal government does also have um, a similar structured website and states like Hawaii do this and they do it very well and there is a ton of information that is there and available for both business purposes and also improving the way that we serve people. So I think it's important to recognize that this is a multi-pronged approach to serving Ohioans. It's not just about business effectiveness, but it's also about serving those who need it most and being able to gather information that will allow us to do that in a better, more efficient and effective way. 